Grab your trick-or-treat bag, throw on a costume, and prepare to be surrounded by villains. We're headed to the Disneyland Resort for some Halloween fun. Let's go. What's going on, my friends? Wade for the Kingdom Report hanging out with you once again, this time for a special edition of the Disneyland Update covering the Oogie Boogie Bash, the special ticketed event at California Adventure, a sold-out Halloween season event that you now have exclusive access to, all courtesy of Dick and Terry Thompson of Tucson, Arizona, who made this broadcast possible. We want to say a special thank you to them. But outside California Adventure here, it is notable that the park allows for a mix-in opportunity. Yep, you can join the park for a typical day of magic starting at 3 p.m. while the party begins at 6 p.m. Lines do start to form pretty substantially going up to the 6 o'clock hour. Uh, you might want to get here as early as possible to avoid it. You take a look at the map here for the Oogie Boogie Bash and you realize there is an awful lot of character opportunities, an awful lot of rubbing up against villains, and a ton of trick-or-treating to be done. In fact, the first thing you get when you walk in is your own trick-or-treat bag. Compliments of California Adventure. Uh, you can grab one, you can grab two if you'd like, and you will no doubt fill that sucker up real quick going through these various treat stations. Another great thing about the Oogie Boogie Bash is that all of your photos are complimentary courtesy of PhotoPass, so you see a lot of photo opportunities throughout the park that are definitely worth stopping at, mainly because those photos are all yours, so there are constant lines around the photographers, especially here near Carthay Circle, to grab yourself a little bit of a keepsake photo with the Headless Horseman. He gets even more popular as it gets dark, and they are welcoming us to the Oogie Boogie Bash just ahead of the official start time for the event here out at Carthay Circle, saying it is a celebration of All Hallows' Eve. One of the things I want to make mention of that worked for me is uh, getting in line for the first treat station that I wanted to go see, and that was the Dr. Facilier treat station right here next to Avengers Campus. This location did not officially open until about 15 minutes prior to the six o'clock party start time. I got in line at uh, 5.45. They just moved the sign out of the way and it is really helpful to hit these trick-or-treat trails uh, as soon as you possibly can. But also keep in mind that this is one of the first things people want to do. So the lines do get very large. A great thing that they have offered here is the Mickey's Trick or Treat stage show. It happens five times each night and it is completely unique for the Oogie Boogie Bash at the Disney Theater. I uh, moved along from Dr. Facilier's Trick or Treat station and I wanted to go meet Oogie Boogie himself. Well, the line to meet him at the animation building was especially large and why wouldn't it be? He is the star of this event. It snaked around the courtyard outside, back and forth, back and forth, but the line did go very quickly. As bad as it all looks, everybody was moving uh, very swiftly through this line and on into the animation building we went to see our very own Oogie Boogie Lair, and uh, he himself had a few thoughts for us. It is incredible what they can do to a space here in the animation building, making it over to be Oogie Boogie Central and amazing to meet the man himself. I moved on over to the Hollywood backlot section where the stage was taken over by the live action version of Cruella de Vil. Oh, you're back! Weren't you here earlier with your crown? Yes. Yeah. By Earlier, 
Ruella Deville was definitely the popular costume choice around the park at Oogie Boogie Bash this year. I moved on over to the Hyperion Theater Courtyard where I wanted to step into Wonderland and meet the Mad Hatter himself. You're my, my hat indeed. Tell me, do you want a hat? I do. You'd like one? You already have one. I want one like yours. Oh, uh, would you now? See, all my designs are custom made, though. See, this is my hat. Oh. It can't go to anyone else, so I have to make you your own custom design hat. So tell me, what type of hat would you like? A green hat. What kind? A purple and green top hat. A purple and green top hat, very well. I shall put question marks all over it to make you a mystery. And then I will also have some vanilla bean wafers. Put them in a little pantry in there because why not? And then for you, what kind of hat? A bowler hat. All right then. And what was your color? Green. A green bowler hat, yes. With a little sparkler that goes on top. Maybe a feather. It'll stick, it'll stick way, way up. Oh. Go like an antennae almost. I like that. And then I'll put some sparkles all over you and the hat because why not? Why not? And then to top it all off, we'll have candy decorated on all these little shelves that run around your hat. It's a candy hat. Delicious. Indeed. You can wear it and then eat it later. Who knew I needed such a hat? But of course, the Mad Hatter always has the hookup. We move on into Avengers Campus, where Guardians of the Galaxy Mission Breakout becomes... Guardians of the Galaxy Monsters After Dark, an overlay for this attraction that is so much fun and definitely worth experiencing this time of year. And I wanted to check in on one of the newest character tree trails, and that is Agatha Harkness. She is the witch from WandaVision, the Marvel Cinematic Universe's Disney Plus series that kind of stole the show this year. And her line stretched all the way back to Cars Land. I'm not even kidding. Fortunately, the line moved quickly. However, it was about a 20-minute wait overall to get from this point in Cars Land to see the witch herself. There's nothing like seeing Agatha in her element. And we move on into Cars Land now for some spooktacular fun. No doubt the epicenter of family fun during the Oogie Boogie Bash is in Cars Land. We move on into Pixar Pier in the amphitheater now where Mickey Mouse and Minnie Mouse are standing by to take photos with families and make sure that they have that perfect keepsake from the event. But one thing I wanted to check out was Sid from Toy Story. I heard he was hanging out along Pixar Pier and the line all the way back near Inside Out. Let's check in with Sid. Hear you over how awesome I am, so bye. Yeah. Bye. Bye. Oh, so scary. And you see your turn to be a consumer to that. And get your race. 
Bye. Good. So I don't want them. You're wearing a dress as Mrs. Johanna does. Are you going to rent for Mrs. Johanna? No. I asked for you friends with my sister Anna. Listen to what I'm saying. Ah, nothing like spending time with a selfish, spoiled, immature little brat. Heading on up Pixar Pier, we ran into Barley Lightfoot of Disney and Pixar's Onward. Yeah, what up, brother? And from Pixar Pier, we jump out to Grizzly Peak Recreation Area, where Captain Hook and Mr. Smee were standing by to make sure that everybody was abiding by the pirate's rules. And Villain's Grove takes over the Redwood Creek Challenge Trail back here, Quite possibly the most stunning of all of the locations during the Oogie Boogie Bash. A mystical, villainous maze of special effects that we do not ever want to miss. Truly stunning sensory overload inside Villain's Grove at the Redwood Creek Challenge Trail. And now, just around the bend, we see the evil queen from Snow White in the distance. One thing I never really understood. What happened to all the apples on this tree? It's so barren. I blame Snow White. She probably didn't water the tree nearly enough. Been so lazy with all of her chores. Have you seen how many leaves litter the ground here? It's as though she didn't even try. And I see you're a fan of my dear friend Maleficent. Yes, it's all right to admit you have more tastes. It's far better to be my fan. It's all right. Maleficent's just green with envy over how gorgeous I am. Can't say I blame her. Though if you see her, can you please ask if she can add some green flame to under my cauldron? After all, those green flames burn so much hotter. Much better for my most recent brew. Don't worry, I won't feed it to you all. Unless you'd like to sleep through the rest of the party. Getting to spend time with the villains like this and listening to them firsthand is always the biggest treat. 
And the crowds wore thin throughout the night as after the first parade, people started to leave and everything became a little bit more manageable from treat trails to character experiences to entertainment. You were able to experience a lot more with a lot less in the way. And one thing that I loved outside of Carthay Circle, not just the theater itself being made over in digital oogie boogie magic, was Cinderella, her stepmother Lady Tremaine, and of course, these two, her stepsisters, hanging out. They are quite the handful. Over by Grizzly Peak Airfield in Soren, Maleficent was standing by. Uh, yeah. Mr. Boogie Boogie is far wiser than King Stephen shall ever claim to be. No! I can assure you I'm in awful spirits this evening. <laughs> Tell me, has anyone seen Diablo this evening? <laughs> no. No? Then, perhaps you're just not looking hard enough, my pet. But he took to the skies earlier this evening. We leave this sinister mistress and head on into Hollywood land where we want to share with you some of the highlights from the Frightfully Fun Parade. The Frightfully Fun Parade happening twice nightly at the Oogie Boogie Bash. Once again, our many thanks to Dick and Terry Thompson for making this bash video possible and for allowing us the opportunity to bring this Halloween party to all of you. Couple of tips if you're headed out to the event. Make sure, number one, that you get there as early as possible. If you can mix in starting at three, go for it. Number two, if you're interested in the Villains Grove Special Effects Spectacular at the Redwood Creek Challenge Trail, get over there during the first parade. That is when the wait time is at its absolute lowest and if you want to flip the script and do trick-or-treating after the first parade you're probably going to wait in far less lines on top of that you can see the second parade and then do rides leading up to the first parade with far less weight make sure you are subscribed to us with that notification bell turned on and hit that uh, thumbs up button if you appreciate what you've seen and for the kingdom report i'm wade heath we'll see you next time for another installment of the Disneyland drop-in. And uh, happy Halloween, everyone. To all who come to this happy place, welcome. <laughs> <laughs>